any time in my life I've been at the beach chilling on the sand or just like standing in the ocean because I can't swim so you know that's still pending but you know when I'm in when I'm in the when I'm in the ocean just standing there I feel like I don't want to leave I remember last year I was in Sardinia um it's like an island just off the coast of Italy and I was in the I was in like the ocean bit because in those in those types of places you know when the ocean is shallow for for like it goes really far out and it's shallow for a long time so then the water's up to here on me and I'm just there chilling and I felt like do you know what I don't want to leave here why do I feel so why do I feel so good I felt like for a second like, I want to like low-key become a fish like I might just be a fish and swim and and just and just be in the water and just live in the water because that's how that's literally how good it was making me feel or I'll be going on a walk through like farmland or the forest or just a field just anywhere in nature going for a walk and you just feel this like complete calmness and it just feels so good and then you think why is that and it's because of one word and that one word is silence we need silence just as much as we need water just as much as we need oxygen just as much as we need food it's literally an essential part of our lives and when we don't have silence in our lives our minds are just full of just just overcrowded of thoughts all of the time and we're not able to tap into that that inner subconscious power that we have so this is why we love being in nature so much and it's seen as such like a yeah i'm in nature the sound of the leaves of the trees just swaying the birds chirping the ocean crashing against the sand and the land there's no man-made noises it's just it's just like nature it's just nature doing this thing man most people need to listen to music everywhere they go you know spotify does that thing the um like the the yearly raps thing where they summarize your your top songs and how many minutes you've listened to music throughout the year on the spotify app and for me my one would come up with around twenty thousand every year and bear in mind i literally run a rap theme page on instagram and tiktok so i'm in the music industry kind of thing Twenty thousand works out about an hour a day so if you think about it that's just my gym workout listen to music or maybe every now and again when i'm driving and i see some people's and theirs is like eighty thousand ninety thousand you do realize that's like four or five hours of listening to music just on spotify every day and people try to say oh like it's just when i'm working just when i'm studying come on that's just spotify that's not including the netflix that you watch that's not including the youtube the movies the scrolling on social media all of this time spent away from being silent it's not just four or five hours a day you're probably looking at 12 hours a day of not being silent this means you're just constantly bombarding your mind with things to distract you from being silent like if you go around and walk around like a city center or a town center shopping mall everyone has earphones in pretty much unless they're like in a big family even then you see a big family of like five or six people and the two kids have just got earphones in and most of the time they're like these bluetooth apple airpod mega radiation brain blasters like they've got in your ears if you're going to listen to stuff when you're out and about make sure it's wired man like forget the forget the wireless shit fuck that man we don't do that around here we do not we don't mess with we don't mess with wireless earphones uh-uh if you come near me with these wireless earphones i'm i'm running this way i'm going over there because i'm not i'm not being around you with these with these wire wireless brain radiation blasting uh-uh mm -mm. mm -mm. that's a whole nother discussion fucking radiation mega boom blaster 3000 airpods uh-uh no way but yeah everyone's literally just listening to music all day long listening to podcasts all day long when is the time for silence you wonder why you you have so many mental you know mental stresses in your mind 24 7 that you can't you know so many problems that you feel like you can't solve because where is your time for silence? Where is that time in your day where you're silent? Where you're just sitting there with your thoughts? You don't have it. Most people's day goes like this, right? They wake up, go on their phone, then they eventually get out of bed, get ready for work and shower whilst listening to music. Then go to work. Whilst they're travelling to work, they listen to music. Then they have their lunch listening to music. And then they carry on their work and listen to their music. Travel back home listening to music. Then they get home, eat their dinner, then after dinner, they watch Netflix or watch some TV and then they get to bed. Their phone's on charge over there. But once their phone's on charge, that is the only time of the day where they're not being stimulated by anything. And then they wonder why they sit there for hours just stressed as hell. Thinking about all of the problems in their lives because they're not used to this silence. They're not used to just sitting there with their thoughts. You've got all of these things running through your head for hours 
you know, you're laying in bed at 11 p.m. and then it's it's 1 p.m., two hours have gone by and you're still awake because you're just stressing and you don't even know why. That's why, because you're not being silent enough in your day. There's no time for silence. It's just stimulation, 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 music, podcasts, distraction, distraction, distraction. That's all it is. And this was literally me a few years ago. I would spend so much of my day listening to music. I thought it was a good thing. Like, yeah, I love music. Music is my, music is my like, I used to try and tell people that music was my remedy for my depression, for my negative thoughts. Music healed me. Come on. We know that's not true. Music is just like a, put, you, broke, you broke your arm, your arm snapped in half and you just put a plaster over it. Or you just put like a little bandage to just try and stick it back together temporarily. That don't fix the problem. You just sort of numbing it for a little bit. It's not going to fix it long term. Silence is what fixes it long term. Is what helps you live a life where you don't feel stressed and depressed all the time. Silence. Silence is king. It's a fact. Imagine a computer with like 50 tabs and all the tabs are like all of your thoughts in your mind. And the longer that you stay not silent and you stay distracted, the more tabs are being opened. So you might start your day off with like a few little tabs, two, three tabs. By the end of your day, because you haven't been silent for a second, you've got like 150 tabs open of a million different things, all on something different, all on all these different stresses and problems in your life. But when you become silent, your mind starts to filter through all of these tabs. And then eventually you just become at peace with your mind, at peace with yourself. You start to be able to solve problems and actually fix things that are stressing you out or at least come to a realization that, you know, this thing that you're stressing about isn't worth stressing about. Your mind is literally a problem solver and our minds together are probably the most powerful things on this earth. Our minds are the things that created nuclear weapons. Our minds are the thing that could cause mass destruction to this earth. It's so powerful. So you're, if you're able to tap into that, and the only way that you can tap into that is silence. If you're not silent, you cannot tap into your mind. You cannot, you cannot tap into your subconscious power. And silence is where the genius of your mind resides. Now, as always, I like to give you an action step because people think knowledge is power. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power. Knowledge only becomes power when you've actually implemented it into your life. When you've actually done something with the knowledge, only then does it become power. So next time you go to the gym or you're working out at home, I want you to not listen to music, not use any earphones, nothing, no stimulation, just you and the workout. And it's going to be hard as fuck. Like, you're not going to want to do it. You might even be too pussy to do it, to be honest. I don't think you do it. I, you probably won't do it. But for me, sometimes I forget my earphones when I went to the gym. Like, I got to the gym and I'm like, oh, shit, I don't have my earphones. So then I'll have to work out without them. And for some reason, the workout always ends up being better. It always ends up being way better when I don't have earphones to when I have earphones. And I think part of the reason might be because you have better mind to muscle connection you're able to make that mind muscle connection way better when you don't when you're not listening to music because you're just you and your thoughts so all you're thinking about is let me move this weight and and, and you actually feel your muscle or another thing you can do is next time you go for a drive if you do drive if you drive into work drive into school drive into like just wherever you're going don't listen to nothing no music no podcasts no youtube videos nothing just you and your thoughts because people don't realize what you you've got this thing in here called your mind and it has thoughts and once you get to know it better through silence, you can basically create what you want for your life. You can solve any problem. You can get rid of any stress. Life is way less stressful when you spend more time silent, in, like in silence. Why do you think meditation is, is you know, spoke about so much in the self-improvement space? Because it actually works. It's one of the few things in life that actually does something. Breathing techniques, meditation, these are all forms of silence. And you just sitting there with your thoughts. And... Once you get to know this mind of yours and get to fully understand it and understand it, life becomes way more fun, way less stressful. Trust me.